Hey guys, so today we're going to take a look at a full paper. Um, I'm going to do it step by step for each question. Um, but this paper is the Further Maths, so this is for Excel, FP1 paper. Um, so this is from Crash Maths. So it's a really good paper. Be sure to check out. I'll leave a link in the description. And this is question one. So question one takes a look at differential equations and using approximations to find certain values. So this is the, you know, this variable y satisfies this differential equation here. We're given some initial conditions. When y is 1, dy by dx is 5, at x equals 4. And we have to use these approximations here that are given. We've got a h value of 0 0.5, a half, and we have to find an approximation for y at x equals 3.5. So let's have a go at doing this. So the first place we can start with this is we know that dy by dx is equal to 5. So we have this here, this approximation, that dy by dx is approximately y1 minus y minus 1 divided by 2h. So let's have a go at this. So what we've got is y1 minus y minus 1. Now this is divided by 2h, so h is 0 0.5, so 2 lots of a half is 1 divided by 1. And we know dy by dx is equal to 5. So this expression, this approximation, is equal to 5, right? That's the first step. So if it's divided by 1, all that means is that y1 minus y minus 1 is equal to 5. That's the first step of working, right? That gets us on the right track. What we also have is this full differential equation here and we have an approximation for the second derivative so what we're going to do is use these conditions here plug it into here and let's see what we get right so using the second derivative now three sine x so x is four so three sine four three sine four plus y squared well y is one so one squared is just one so I'm just going to times it by the dy by dx, which is 5, so plus 5. So that's the left-hand side, and this is equal. Now, we're going to make this equal to the approximation. So this is going to be equal to y1, so it's just going to be y1, minus 2 lots of y0. So your y0 is this initial condition here when y is 1. So that's going to be 2 lots of 1, so minus 2, um, plus y minus 1, y minus 1, and this is divided by h squared, so that's 0 0.5 squared, which will give you um, 0 0.25, so 0 0.25, h squared, 0 0.25. Simplifying this now, so make sure you're working in radians here, if you do 3 times sine 4 plus 5 times by 0 0.25, what that's going to give you um, is going to be 0.6823 blah blah blah. But I'm going to add the 2 on here as well. So simplifying all this now, what that's going to give me is just y1 plus y minus 1. So that's going to be y1 plus y minus 1. Because remember, this is just going to come to a numerical value. You times it by 0 0.25, add the 2 on. And we've got it all in just one expression then. So y1 plus y minus 1. This is equal 2.6823. Notice now we had to have simultaneous equations, right? We have this e this equation up here, y1 minus y minus 1 is equal to 5. We've got y1 plus y minus 1 is equal to 2.6823. So what I'm going to do now is because the y1s are both positive, if you remember all the way from GCSE, das, so if they're different, you add them. If they're the same, you subtract. So I'm going to subtract these two equations, right? So minus y minus 1. So I'm going to subtract another one off here. So uh, what it's going to look like is blah 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 so what it will be is y1 minus y minus 1 equals 5 minus so i'm subtracting both off the top now um y1 plus y minus 1 that's equal to 2.6823 um i should write dot 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 that does go on so when I subtract these now, what I get is minus 2, oops, that was a bit big, minus 2y minus 1, and that's going to be equal 
so it's just 5 minus this, which is going to give me 2.3177. And then when you go to simplify that, guys, you're just going to divide through by minus 2. So therefore, y minus 1 is equal to minus 1.15885. That's a 5. And then to two decimal places, that's going to give you minus 1.16. And there we have it, that's question one done, nice and easy.